Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this simple, uh, what do you call it, gravesite that has been modified to something. I got the, what do you call this thing, the cement, the, uh, the plaque, the, where the names on it, and the cross as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I make this. Okay, let's begin. Okay, here I am with the basic default cube. I'm gonna use the cube. I'm gonna press one now. I'm gonna press N to this to hide that one. I'm gonna go face select this. I mean, just go hold, alt, and select. And you have selected those. Okay. And let's extrude, extrude individual face. Okay. Let's go something like that. Now you got the cross. Okay. Now this one will be. Make it longer. Grab that to the Z. Something that well depends on your liking, okay? <clears throat> and now you got that very simple cross there. Very cool. Now let's add some bev some bevel. We can just press here the modifier, add the modifier, and add the bevel. Okay. Increase the segment to two. <clears throat> okay. I've shown you how I have a tutorial that make about making this cross as one thing i forgot is this one see it that is well well nasty oh you can fix that actually you can go to the geometry you see my cursor here this is the geometry and see the mighty outer there select that one and choose anything you like you can choose patch there's something over there quite clean or you can just go to arc it should follow the the line okay so i'm gonna stick with arc okay since this is a low poly i'm not gonna think much about it and well don't think much about it let's try and increase the amount something like that would do yep something like that would do i'm gonna apply that later so press one now now let's make the base the yeah the base shift a to add a, a cube Add a cube, okay. You can use the, the what do you call it? The plane also fine. That's up to you. And now I'm gonna press one now. Scale shift Z. I got something like that. You want only that that big. Maybe a little bit. Okay, now press seven for up view. Scale that to the Y. What I'm doing here is adjusting the length, okay? Maybe the body is tall, maybe something, yeah. Okay, now you got something over there. Okay, let's bring that a little bit back. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> got the simple stuff there. Now let's make the, let's make another over there, another, what do you call floor. Press I to insert, but wait. Before we do that, did you see something? This and this are now not acting the same, okay? That's because we scale this and we need to apply it, okay? So I'm gonna control Z that. I'm gonna go to object mode, I'll press Ctrl A and enable ap apply the scale, okay? And when you go back, it should be fine. I can show you. Press I. Oh, it's still not. Oh. I pressed <laughs> the wrong one. Oh, slide escape. Okay, good. There we go. It should be fine. Sometimes you miss and you need uh, L. And you need you need to uh, figure out which that you miss. Don't mind what when I'm talking here. Let's just start modeling. Okay, I'm scale a little bit there. I think that's quite too high, but that's actually fine. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. Okay, just make it. Don't mind about overlapping too much because this is a low poly. Mm, of course, no need to think too much. Okay. <laughs> so now again, same like I did with the cross. That's at the bevel. Okay. That's a bevel. 
and uh, twist it a little bit segment to maybe two two looks good yeah two looks good and you and you can adjust this one too from the geometry the geometry use the shop you can use the patch or you can pick the arc i'm gonna pick the arc because the arcs is actually well very okay for the me okay now let's make the what do you call it, the plate what do you call it i don't know what you call it but let's just model it um okay come to press seven scale shift set doesn't matter how big you want completely up to you okay get thing over there scale that to the z make it smaller and press one grab that until it touch over there okay and i'm gonna go to edit mode i'm gonna go to edge edge select and this one i'm gonna grab, grab it down okay just set something like that, not like that bring a little bit of that there there we do let's bring this up a little bit ah look at that guys uh, i mean let's see like this i'm using the cavity look at that very cool right and now let's shade it okay let's see if we have double control not control a control m not control m m press m only by distance okay we don't have double and that's good okay now let's shade it put this in this one i believe this one and go with uh something like darkish look cement and of course i don't need the speculars i'm gonna go to zero and the roughness to one same as these two okay that's new this one gonna be the goldish brownish gold brownish would do um okay oh that's way to green oh why color is always be my nightmare here yeah. i have always have a problem choosing with the colors okay we got something like that and let's do the same specular zero roughness to one and this one i'm gonna stick it to white all i'm editing is just just the specular and the roughness okay there we go guys very simple and fun to model okay so that's how i model my uh well what do you call this grave site grave uh just let's just call it grave okay so that's how i model the grave and yeah it's a very low poly and quite simple to make as well so yeah that's how i make okay <laughs> so don't think anything negative about this because well it's just uh i'm what i'm showing is just modeling okay not something about culture or something no no not like that i'm showing what i'm doing is i'm just showing you how to model this in blender okay so yeah go ahead try and make yourself it's very fun okay so that's all for today thanks for watching and i'll see you next time on the next tutorial on sunday okay bye now